cleaning the coffee cup. My aunt, Um Joseph, and why we say Um Joseph is Um is mother. So she's usually known as the mother of the son, the oldest son, who in this case was Joseph, was known for her ability to see the future by reading the cup. When the Arabic coffee was finished, the liquid and sediment left were swished around a bit and the cup turned over on the saucer and left to dry for a few minutes. Um Joseph would study the patterns that were left in the cup, turning it slowly little by little and would then make her predictions for the next year. She had a patio or mustaba by a big mulberry tree that separated the house from the vineyard where there she kept a glowing brazier, pots of coffee, hot water, and stack of cups and saucer. In good weather, her patio would always be filled with guests and families sipping coffee and waiting to hear what their futures held in store for them. Occasionally, someone would even bring a turned cup from their own home that had been saved because of intriguing, unusual signs that needed Um Joseph's interpretation. The guests could be divided into two groups, the believers and the doubters. For a long time, I was a doubter. One afternoon, my aunt looked at my cup and told me I would take a trip that very day. When I got home, my older sister said she had to leave Zahli and go to Beirut and I must accompany her. And Zahli was up in the mountains. So that would have been a big trip on, on the, in that time, it would have been a long trip. When I returned, I went straight to Um Joseph and told her her prediction had come true. She was not surprised at all. I became a believer. I asked her to show me how to read a cup, starting at the handle, turning it slowly counter counterclockwise until you reach the other side of the handle. That is a year. She showed me signs for trips, happy or sad gatherings, enemies, which are looking like snakes, incoming gifts and good news. She said that if the cup sticks to the saucer, that means the coffee drinker is in love. She said, you must know your guests, listen to their news and have a Tim Daffy, a warm mouth. In other words, always say something nice. Now, when I amuse my family and friends by reading their cups, I always remember Um Joseph's dicta, know your guests, listen to everything being said and keep at Tim Daffy. And my little aside, for this story too, is that daddy still continues to read the cups and he takes it very seriously as do the ones who he's reading and even people who are just, you know, our guests or something, they will get into it and want daddy to read their Turkish coffee cup or Arabic coffee, however you want to say it. Um, and you, you, you take it, you, you first, you, you swish and then you quickly turn the cup over uh, so no liquid is going out and you have the, the, the saucer there with the cup on top. Then you put it down and you let it just relax a little bit and so the sediment drops. And then after a certain time, daddy will take the cup off and then he looks, looks, examines, turns the cup around and it's all very, you know, a, a process, elaborate process and no one's speaking. It's very silent because we're waiting for our fortune to be told good or bad and see what's our future going to be held. So, you know, we take it very seriously and he reads the cup and he knows who he's talking to. And even though sometimes he say we have an enemy or sometimes something's not good going to happen, he says it. So, but anyhow, um, he say when we, he'll say when we have a trip or something is going to a holiday or vacation or some good thing is going to happen in a business or something. It's, it's really interesting. We all take it very seriously.